High above Bavaria in southern Germany sits a castle that was built to inspire fantasy. But to construct this breathtaking building in such a unique location, the team faced harsh realities. Ludwig II was King of Bavaria for 22 years between 1864 and 1886, ascending to the throne when he was just 18 years old. In 1866, Bavaria allied with Austria, lost a war with Prussia and Ludwig lost his status as a sovereign ruler. A year later, he began planning the construction of a kingdom where he could feel like a real king. Ludwig II's father owned Hohenschwangau Castle nearby and Ludwig had spent much of his early life growing up there exploring the surrounding trails and lookout points. One of those features was Jugend, a narrow mountain ridge that the ruins of two small castles sat on. It was here that Ludwig planned Nuschwanstein, his grand home. Preparation works for the new castle began in 1868, with demolition and clearance of the existing ruins and an eight metre excavation into the stone outcrop, creating space for foundations. A critical new access road up the mountain was completed in 1869 and the castle's foundation stone, complete with building plans, portraits of Ludwig and coins from his reign, was laid on the 5th of September. Building such an ornate structure, perched along the sheer cliffs of the outcrop, was extremely difficult. At the time, the construction team were making use of the latest building techniques, including cement for the foundations. The walls were formed with brick, clad with light-coloured limestone. Steam engines drove cranes, powering the stone and masonry materials up the mountainside to the construction site. The gateway building was the first section to be completed, topping out in June 1872. A few months later, Ludwig began living in this part of the castle, overseeing the works. Construction of the main palace started that September. Despite employing what were then advanced construction techniques, the works progressed slower than anticipated. The challenging site was compounded with ever more extravagant changing designs from the king and impossible deadlines that often forced his architects and engineers to work 24 hours a day. As the years went by, Ludwig increasingly withdrew from human contact and the realities of constitutional monarchy. He created a detached fantasy world around himself and became practically nocturnal. His behaviour impacted on the engineering plans for his new home, even driving the use of a steel frame to make an elaborate new throne room possible. His passion for Richard Wagner inspired much of his architectural vision. Behind the ornate interior, the castle was fitted out with telephones, hot air central heating and running water, considerably modern touches at the time. The structure was topped out in January 1880 and Ludwig began living in the main palace from 1884 whilst the fit-out works continued. The king's increasingly peculiar behaviour led his government to plot a coup against him, assembling psychiatrists who'd never met him to sign a report declaring that he was insane. Against Ludwig's will, he was taken from Nuschwanstein in June 1886 and held at Berg Castle near Munich. He was found dead in Lake Starnberg the next day, alongside one of the psychiatrists, never seeing his castle completed. Shortly after the king's death, the palace was opened to the public. The fantasy-inspired creation in such a breathtaking setting quickly became popular. Nuschwanstein was finally completed in 1892 and has gone on to become one of the most visited and photographed castles in the world. Its presence is notable throughout popular culture, appearing in numerous films and paintings. Today, the structure draws crowds of up to 6,000 people a day in summer months, which is particularly impressive given its remote location. Maintenance is an ongoing task. The castle's highly exposed setting has weathered the limestone facades, with work ongoing to repair them. The foundations are also carefully monitored and the sheer rock walls have to be repeatedly secured. Despite the tough realities of its construction in Ludwig's reign and its maintenance today, Nuschwanstein is undoubtedly one of the world's most impressive and well-known castles, a bridge between our real world and the make-believe that continues to inspire imagination. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with a friend, and to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M.